Spain. It's a one hot summer. Pull up with my bro. In a drop top hammer. Hummer. You said one to one to one to one. And you done two? Nah, come on. In Spain, in Spain, it's, it's a, a one, one hot summer. summer. Pull up with my bro. In a it? drop top hammer. Hey. No, man. Sauce on spill. So the girl damn love us. Okay, okay. The girl damn love us. I can't wait to get a break, get our cat food for a long last. Opportunities to even fly out to other countries. So it's really good that we get to go around Spain, meet new people and experience another culture. Air I'm from, if you don't work your ass off, you're not going to get anywhere, you're not going to get any chances. I've got to work twice as hard as anyone else because of where I'm from. But all I've known is just work, 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 work. So this summer is all about getting me out of my bubble. And It'll be one hot one. summer! What we playing with? Hey, Reezy. Reezy, look what I'm telling you, bro. Pool table. Are you mad? Woo. Hola, España. The king's arrived. Shaq and Ronel are my unfortunate business partners. <laughs> I was initially their mentor, and now we're three entrepreneurs and real good friends as well. I'm about to just take over the world together. Damn. Oh, almost hit that. This is a oh, sport. Bro, this is, hey, bro, this, this is, is a must. This is, a sport. this is the group room. Hey, what are you telling me? Oh, why ain't Shaq here? We could have just, we could have patterned that in bed. Hola. What's your name? Hayden. Hayden. What's Chris. your name? Chris. Nice to meet you, man. Renel. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. I've got some beers if there's a fridge. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, plenty in the fridge. Coronas. Coronas. Oh, yeah, cheeky Corona. <laughs> Did you, you fly by yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm here by myself. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. We, had, wow. we were meant to have a third person bed. with us as well, but they had a bit of issue with their visa to fly out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. until then, it's just a two companion. I don't know it's about the new arrivals. It'll be interesting. Very interesting, isn't it? We actually made a song. We really? Produ we produced it um, last night. We got it, we got it all here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What style is it? Like, soul rap, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> rap, isn't it? It's a slow rap. It's not a quick rap. It's a slow rap. So, <laughs> soul, that's so soulful. Soul. Oh, my God, no way. Is, that not so is it not soul? Do you two want a beer? This is why, yes, this is, me and Aiden's gonna get on well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. Did I get some on you? Absolutely love that. So, so sorry. He did not. <laughs> you, you, did, you did get some on me. Yes, more lads, what are you saying, guys? Aiden, nice Thanks. to meet you. Chris, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, right, yeah? Nice, nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. Is it only boys here, though? At the moment, yeah. They've had the it's all lads on the trip. Yeah. 24. Yeah. <laughs> so, 23. 20. 20. You're 20? Yeah, man. You're 23? Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm, I'm actually thinking just a conference right now. Nah, we need, like, we need the girls in there. We need someone oh, to wow, okay. Hey, hey. It's very oh, hot. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got one here with yeah. 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 Bro, yeah. stop lying. Yeah. Stop lying. I don't know. We could have snatched that one. We could have snatched it. I said, let's leave it for the girls. I, I, I just, I like that one. Hey, direct questions yeah, yeah, so so like, Why do you always have to speak? Just leave it. You usually like it's tall, common. dark, handsome. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, that sort of. <laughs> Chris, proper decent guy, mate. Dead down to earth. He seems like an absolute joker. Um, I feel like I bring lots of laughs to the villa. Uh, yeah, good guy. Wheat, so I have to make sure I did wheat. <laughs> This morning, I am frazzled. My voice is still gone from last night, bro. Last night was too Damn. crazy, bro. Yeah, because you get, yeah, because you get, yeah, because you get, it's boiling, though, man. It's fucking hot. It's the one fucking hot summer. But fam, Shaq, bro, Shaq needs to be here, man. Well, when he gets here, he's going to be too guy. What's your favourite drink? <laughs> Prosecco. Prosecco? Yeah. yeah. See, I, I could tell you it's a Prosecco girl. Really? You've got a bit of class. Ah, uh, that was smooth. Yeah. That was smooth. Game on. Hey, festival day today. Festival <laughs> come very excited for festival. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, said, I, would, I wouldn't, but I'm saying if there was one in the house that yeah. I would, it would be Savannah. If oh, there was my one. Brother. If there was yeah, there, there was one. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we just done a tent. Look at our first tent. 
boy, boy from the ends doing camping, but doing up like camping at a festival, yeah. No. <laughs> you haven't, have you? We don't know about Oasis in London, bro. We, from the hood, bro. <laughs> we don't know about Oasis in London, bro. You reckon there's like any romance in there yet? Not yet. If there's gonna be a romance, it'll start with me. You reckon? It'll oh. start with me, if anything. Mr. Loverboy, Mr. Loverboy. Lover, you lover, backing yourself? Mr. Lover, lover, lover. Who are you backing lover. yourself with? I would say Savannah, but I don't know how she feels yet. I reckon you ask her. I shall ask her. Or just try it on with her. Put it on her. Just <laughs> drop it in. Just drop it in. <laughs> I'm living in a claustrophobic cave. Me <laughs> wine! Boy, boy from the ends doing camping. Hygiene now, let's talk about hygiene at a festival. Disgusting. So we used the port port porta pans like down there and then we had to come all the way down there to wash our hands and apparently it's where you gotta fucking brush your teeth as well. You got teeth Ridiculous, isn't it? It stinks, it has wee on the floor. I flipping seen shit on the walls. What? London boys gone camping. You never put a tent Self in our tent. tent life. Self-made tent. Hey, we've done a pretty good job though, we've done it quite quick. Yeah. Next door neighbours and that. Hey, next door neighbours. Hey, hey. This is gonna be mansion soon, bro. We don't know no artists by the way here. The only artists we knew was the gigs. Mate, Liam Gallagher. Don't know him. Oasis today. I'm back to you. We don't know about Oasis in London, bro. We only know about the juice, the corner shop, Oasis. You know, like when you're thirsty. We're gonna watch Chase and Status. I don't listen to them. I, 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 I don't even know so, who Chase and Status is. They just said black, they, they just said black rappers. Yeah, so I was literally. like, okay, I'll go. Literally, don't know who they are, but fuck it, it was fucking lit. All we done all night for chasing the state. No, 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 no song. Mosh pit. Mosh pit. Every single song. We was holding each other and we was just spinning each other around and see how we play the game, see how much people can bounce off us. That was mental, man. Create the whole mosh pit. Create the whole mosh pit. My shoe, my shoe come off and I picked up and I had to come out the mosh pit. I was not going to lose my trainers. Flipping so your, your bum bag rip. My bum bag. Your bum bag rip. That's how you know I was going ham, like. <laughs> Last night, walking back through the camp, yeah. There's some, like, girls and stuff wanting to get a picture of because they thought you were, like, gigs in his bag, his bodyguard or whatever, with his, with his boys. There's a, there's a husband, he gave, his, he gave me his wife. <laughs> gave me his wife. His wife took a picture of me and he kissed me on the cheek. I was like, I love this life. <laughs> Last night, now there was fun, though. I'm living in the tent. My tent is the only tent that's not secure. I didn't know that. I didn't even realise it. Man's got to hold the tent. Man's got to hold the tent like this. Man's not made for this. Man's not made for this tent like this. But today, you know what? I woke up on a bloody soldier today, mate. I tell you what. I flipped and went, went out of wash. You know, I, I battered my fears. Went out of, went out of shit. Battered my fears again. Right? I didn't care no more. Hey, I, 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 used, I used the tent equipment. Top weight. The tent equipment, right? To get the cork shoot out of a wine jar, so I have myself a bit of reverie. So now I'm using nature to my advantage right now. Well, I've learned about this camping trip with two things. Number one, I can adapt to nature. I'll sell, I'll sell, I'll sell part of the equipment. Number two is that I still got some South London left in me. I don't want to leave. I I do want to leave, but mm -hmm. I don't want to leave right now. <laughs> so your first festival experience was a positive one? Um, okay, the whole experience, yeah. yeah. It's been an absolute whirlwind from everything that happened. <laughs> Out of 10, rate it from everything that happened. Okay, I'm going to put, if we put all in all, all, all yeah. in all, I would say 7 points. We'll take this lad's room. Yeah, we'll take it. We were in there chatting. I just really like, you know. Coming from a small town called Catford in South London, like for me, this is like the the cream. What's it called? The creme brulee. Like this is what this is like, like I don't want that to be just a temporary thing. This is just thing. much more than just an experience or a getaway. For me, this is my future lifestyle. Like this is what I'm aiming for. This is why I'm waking up every morning, doing mad hours, trying to make as much money as possible. I don't to know how much I share yet. Maybe. As we go into it, if, if I'm realizing people are really going deep and sharing their deep story, then it might make me feel more comfortable to open up. Having a job and stuff just to try to get money. When I was 14, 
same similar to Sam, I lost my dad to cancer as well. I watched him slowly pass away. But I didn't think it hit me because I, it, I didn't cry. I think I left halfway through the funeral. And I was just emotionless, like, I didn't really care about much. And then I got to 17, like, I finished college, whatever, and then my best friend got stabbed and died. Um, and that one hit me hard because, like, obviously, that's my best friend. I was there every single day. Then things got worse. Lost my older brother. So I lost my brother, lost my dad, lost my best friend. And then from then I was like, I can't do like, you know, my family being broke. I can't do like, keep losing people. So then that's why I started like running my own businesses. I want to be able to do things that people in my area wouldn't dare to do, but I would. So that's why I'm out of my boy right now. This is extravagant, extravagant. Not, like, not, not me, I just heard it from the grapevine. I've been with you every, day, every night, mate. Yeah, true. Exactly. It's not going to stop me doing what I need to do, though, isn't it? At what? Like, whatever happens out of town, isn't it? But not Sam and Amy. Wow, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my back was like stuck. Hey, I'm so feeling like cramp in my style, bro. Cramp in my style, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Me! Quick! Do it quick! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> 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 First time in the seat. Why do you die like that? Come on. Come on. Why do you die like that? Yeah? Let me see it. <laughs> what did you think your first time in the sea then? Do you think you want to go back in? I'll go back in. But I'm not going to lie. I think you need so to work. I think you need to work on your diving. It's more of a a slip into a belly pop. Yeah, but it's baby steps. At first it's just about getting in, then it's about that jumping. I'm proud of you for going in though. I think so. This this has expired. But it works. Uh, hey, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Are you sure? Oh, Chris. You're not going to be sick here. Go enjoy yourself, don't worry about me. No, I'm not gonna leave you. I honestly feel like a mum right now. I feel like a mum at all. No one like how drunk he gets, but I wasn't expecting him to be like paralyzed. I feel like I can't. We're in the same clothes. Same clothes as yesterday. We're in the same clothes as we were in yesterday, honestly. Um, I can't even explain what happened. I had to have an early night. I had got red carded, early night, early bath. Set off. Set off. <laughs> <laughs> cool, guys. So this is Shaq. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. Obviously, you guys know his story how he couldn't come out with me and Renel in the first couple of weeks because of his visa issue. He told us he actually weren't coming back out to Spain, but obviously he's here now. Yeah, I had I to just... keep it on the down low, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. my god! So you just got Welcome to the family! Chris, was you crying? I, almost, I had tears in my Mate, eyes. I see god tears. knows, I had tears I saw in my eyes. He's honestly like, how much days spend together? Every like, day. Every day I'm so buzzing for you, honest. I am so, mm. so buzzing for you. I can't wait to see you guys together, like your actions. Like so you're saying, we're telling me what's been happening? And everyone getting along? The reality is when we first started, everyone gets along in it. Mm. Two weeks in, people's everyone personality comes out, and all that things, stuff, so. arguments starts happening, tension starts happening. So obviously there's been a bit of tension recently. You're here now, so like, it's just, it's just gonna be mm. sick now. Like, mm. the three amigos. So now you're in Ibiza, what are you trying to tell me? Oh boy. Do you trying to tell me? Oh, what happens in Ibiza stays in Ibiza, you get me? That's how you feeling? Yeah, That's man. How you feeling now, yeah. yeah. Every night we've been out, me and Renault's patterned external things. Every single day, every single night we've gone out. Clean sheet, yeah? Clean sheet all the time. Cool. But me and Sav was getting close. Yeah. But it's like, we don't really spend that much time together, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, sometimes like, here and there, obviously, we'll sleep around each other's rooms here and there, innit? But yeah. it's not really, it's not as much it's happening. Not major, it's not, not major, major yeah, yeah, it's not really major. Mm. Um, but I do like her, though. Yeah. A little bit. What do you think about your first impression on the girls in the villa anyways at the moment? Like, oh. who caught your eye at the moment? It's just from off the cuff. Hi, you all right? You all right? How you doing? What are you talking about? 
you came at the most awkward question because I just asked him a question. <laughs> you walked in at the question. I'm like, oh my god. I, now you're gonna think that's all we've been talking about. Exactly. And it genuinely wasn't. Was so I just nice. asked him now, yeah. Oh, so that's just from coming in, who's, don't get what like, who's cool? Fucking beef is, mate. I, 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 mate, what's going on? It's fucking dummies. Shit, good dummies. Good dummies. Dummies. See, you leave some here for my cup in your wallet, man. You gonna put one in your wallet? Yeah, bro. Just the mad, Where'd you get that from? I just thought it was a bit awkward earlier because Izzy had a tally chart of how many times people had cracked on with other people. Mine was once, which was with you, and then yours was like at seven people. That was a bit of a kick in the teeth. But all seven, six were before you. But I feel like whatever I say now, you're not gonna you're not gonna believe me anyway. People were like, oh, he's a player, don't go near him. So I was like, mm, okay, I'll make my own decision. So you've got to make up your own mind, really, isn't it? But I, I don't care, like, I, there's no pressure here. I know there's no, like, pressure, but I do feel like we've been getting, like, quite a lot closer. And I feel like, well, if you're going to continue to be like that, yeah. then it's going to be very awkward. Obviously, we see things from two different points of view. What's your point of view? Usually, like when someone's like, okay, think, oh, I like that person, they don't automatically go, okay, I'm exclusive now. No, I don't think it's that Do like exclusivity thing point of view. I think it's that more like respect and morals point of view. I just don't want to be disrespected. Now I get what you're saying. Like it's the, the caution like of like seeing you that, work. I'm like, oh, okay, like. Do whatever you feel you want to do. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Whatever I feel happens, like it's happens. Going, I feel like it's all going in the right direction. Yeah. As long as, as long as like you behave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, and then and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Stop stressing please. I, so I like your smile, I like your personality, the way you care for people. The way you care for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always honest with you. I wish I was a shame, but I was low and now I don't know why I was. I wish I wasn't, mm. because now someone don't want to have a conversation with me because they think I've done something I didn't, but now I wish I did. In the outside world, you can like, you crush more than one person, right? You can crush more than one person. I'm not in a relationship with no. her, so I've got nothing to justify. In the outside world, you can like, you crush more than one person, right? You can crush more than one person. Nothing to justify. Days goes on, she's, she's treating this more like a relationship, and it's, it's, it's not, not, not a relationship. Oh. I like shit. Well, right. you like shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. But it wasn't even like that, but I knew that's what it was going to look like, do you know what I'm saying? I've rolled yeah. in. But it was me, Shaq and Renell, and then two girls. Yeah. It's like a bit tense. It's tense, yeah. <sighs> I might have that convo later. Clear the air. Maybe. Just make sure everyone knows, kind of right now, there's got bare, like, rumours and speculation, what they think has gone on. But no one's really come and even spoken to me or asked me. I don't really like the assuming shit, you know, so... If they want to know the truth, they need to come and ask me directly, you know, I'll let them know what I've gone. Conversation. Can I pinch you for a chat quick? Pardon? Can I pinch you for a chat quick? Yeah, of course. I'm pissed off. I think it's disrespectful that you'd bring a girl back here when, I, when you know I'm staying here. Like, why Why would you do that? They're together. The girls were together. Yeah, but Chris, I literally walked out into the garden. You were sitting there, like, with your arms around her. And, on... and my arm wasn't around her. It, it was. Like, do you know how that looked to me? You just turned up with random girls. Yeah. Where I'm staying. I got Lewis text me saying you can hear shagging and all sorts. Like, yeah. So I had to sit there last night, like, what's going on? Like, I thought that was a really shitty move from you. Oh, I walked out, Ronelle's literally, like, sucking some girl's face off, and then you're literally laying there next to another girl. How does that look to me? What's Shaq not next to me? Shaq was, like, sitting on his own. You didn't even say a word to me either. You didn't say anything. Nor did that girl. Nothing. What were we meant to say? Hello? Could have said hello? I also heard, like, you're saying now you wish you had a factor because you had the chance to or something. I said the reason why I didn't do anything is because of you. That's, like, really kind of you that you didn't do anything to me. Well, that, if I'd done stuff, that means I wouldn't care, right? You could have said, like, what, what it was. Can you see from my point of view how it looked? When, tell me when I could have told you what it was because you've been ignoring me all day. You should have had the balls to come up and ask me. When? At any point that you've had multiple, like we live in the same house right now. 
it's not. It's not but like you, I'm a million but miles you, from you right but now. You didn't want to talk to so me, you could so have then. WhatsApp me or anything. But you didn't want to talk to me, so why would I make the effort to talk to you if yet again you don't it's want to talk to me? It's having the decency to just like say something. Well, look, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm genuinely, sincerely sorry. And like I said, I didn't mean to make you feel some type of way. I didn't mean to make you come across disrespectful. The last thing I want to do is disrespect to you. And obviously, if you want your space, that's granted. I get you. You be mad, you're angry, you're frustrated. I hear you. I get it. It's, it makes sense. So if you want me to just keep my distance for a bit, I will. Mm. Yeah? feelings from yourself so why would you do that one thing i've realized i'm definitely gonna take that from this trip is that you don't realize how much your action has it's being towards me in my eyes it could be being in someone else's eyes no, no, so, yeah. i'm not the type of person to just bogged down to one person really unless un unless i make it official if i make it official then then it is something you know if it's not official then it's just just enjoying the vibe reality is you can't really we don't really know what it's going to be until after after the journey's over because then the day you gotta be realistic like Will we even see each other again? And just where we're at now, I'm not sure like thoughts at the moment. I, I apologise to you about that. I know. About how it made you feel? The trust thing's kind of gone for now. Mm -hmm. Like not to say it won't like come back, but it did like knock me back a bit because it did feel like kind of we got to this point and I just feel like we just had to start all over again. And obviously we've only got a few days left, so I'd rather like... Just, just enjoy put, it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Don't! Literally rub your face I just hope I've been so distant, like, every time I ask him I'm alright, I'm good. He says he's fine. Also, I know it's not because. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. What are you talking about? We're just having a conversation about Luke and how I feel like it's just been really distant. Fuck knows, man. Oh, I don't know what's going on with you. Oh, it is what it is. You want to be happy, innit? I'm not going to lie. I probably don't have that from my, my experience. My like, she was just sat there, like. About what? Sat there, and I was like, you're immature comment. You made an immature comment before when we were leaving. She's like, how's it immature? How's it mature? And then Megan Lula, like, how's it immature, mate? You know what I mean? Fuck off. You want us to get a grip. I like dealing with fucking kindergartens or nursery kids. And they're just there, like, just picking at it. Like, da, da, da. And it's like free. Give a fuck if they want to moan. I don't give yeah, a shit. Care. I've been I'm slagging a man's bang room for myself. Like I'm not going to lie. I don't like the way people are moving anyway, so I ain't got no loyalties here, so fuck that. I was getting a room for myself. I don't like the tension there. There's going to be tension. The group is done. No problem. Clearly, there's a problem. We're not fake. Well, you just sat there and pretend like everything was fire and clearly there's... We didn't know, we were just sat not speaking to anyone. Okay. We're the least fake in the fucking villa. Okay. I know right now you don't trust I me. I don't trust you. you. I don't. Yeah. Right now. Don't. That's because you I don't, have... I don't blame you, I don't blame you. What do you mean, my heart's not in there? 100%. No? Yeah, I agree with you. Obviously, we're open -minded. I'm open-minded to, like, obviously finding someone, settling down and stuff like that. But it's just... I don't know. There's so much factors, I don't know. I've always had this problem though. Like I want to I want this to be so clear. Like I always get close to someone and then I have this commitment problem and I start shaking and, and quivering and like I feel I like I feel like stuff. knowing you're a bit of a player out here and like realistically, is it gonna no, don't but it's because you're smirking, don't smirk. I can't not smirk. You're smirking. I can't not yeah. Okay. How, how accessible is it for you to get onto you? How accessible is it for you to get onto me? Does it still feel the same out of this type of yeah, environment exactly. as well? That's going to be a big thing. So many factors. So it's like you go from there, really, innit? That's yeah. that's what I see it as. Okay. Yeah. I know right now I'll, I'll I'll try my best to make the effort. Okay. That's that's what I can say for now, innit? Okay. It's not like an asshole, really. Well, there you go. Nice, like mountain. Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck is Oh my fucking name? <laughs> Bro, it's a little fucking fly. Oh, I've got a phobia, it's a health issue. It's not. <laughs> First time as a free amigo, so fuck I'm back in London, boy. Yeah. Alright. Let's get on man. Push push start the whip. We need it as well, man. Us to grow together. And another thing just for ourselves. I've learned so much on this trip. Um I realize sometimes I can be too real. That I can be too upfront, too, too forward. I've learned, I've learned a lot about my personality. That was hard. Ooh.
Aye, that was leg day. Aye. Aye. Who's saying though? You've been dying to get home, haven't you? I don't Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking love you, mate. I swear to you, every day I wake up, the first thing I want to do is come see you, give you, give you a hug, honest to God, man. And I'm so happy that you found someone like Amy as well. More so because you're going to come London, not be in London. I can't see why Amy wouldn't have fallen in love with you, mate, because I fell in love with you, mate. Fucking hell, we are somewhere. We've met. Spending every day of your life with them for a month, and then all of a sudden, it's just boom, like that. It's just taken away from you. What, how, are, how, are we, how are you, my friend? Mate, I'm doing tip-top. The, the creme brulee. I think you mean creme de la creme, mate. Yeah. Listen, yeah. everyone's yeah. getting on to me about it. You know what, I've got a new nickname now. My nickname's now, creme my nickname's now Mr. Creme, creme Brulee. She has a fat ass. Yes, she does. She does, does. someone so, in the last episode. He now right. has someone from You want to yeah. run hot Shoot your shot. Sam's actually made the correct choice. I have to disagree with you, my friend.